this newborn intensive care unit in Kisumu, Kenya. Nurses keep a close watch on at least a dozen babies who need oxygen support. Staff at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital say this device brings some relief to those in respiratory distress like this six-month-old baby. The device is a bubble continuous positive airway pressure system or BCPAP. It has helped us a great loss because uh, before we had the machines, there were babies who needed the CPAP, but we were not able to initiate, we were just using the normal oxygen. Yeah, but currently we have seen that there are babies who improve very well when we initiate on CPAP. The device continuously delivers pressurized oxygen, making it easier for babies in respiratory distress to breathe. Workers say water bubbles in a jar signify the user is breathing right. The device is being manufactured in Kenya. Reviral Healthcare, a manufacturer in Kenya's Kilifi County, and the U.S. based Vayu Global Health Foundation took on mass production of the devices this year. Officials say bubble CPAP just needs a pressured source of oxygen, such as a cylinder, to function. So once you have a continuous flow of 100% pure oxygen flowing in, the blender, which is the magic of the entire device and is literally where the magic happens, is able to pull in ambient air from the outside as well. You can then adjust this oxygen concentration between 30% to 100% before being delivered to the baby. This blended air can be filtered, is humidified, breathed in by the patient and breathed out and then is also there's a pressure generator jar which controls the pressure and keeps the baby's lungs open. Newborns are bearing the brunt of at least 400 attacks on hospitals in Ukraine, according to the World Health Organization. As the Russia-Ukraine war continues, premature babies born in the war are being supported with the devices. In August, WHO acknowledged that at least 25 facilities across Ukraine, 17 of which are perinatal centers, are using the bubble CPAPs provided by donors. Officials say the device provides a non-invasive way of supporting newborns who are struggling to breathe. Doctors say oxygen blenders prevent lung and brain damage while giving babies pure oxygen. Its inventor, American doctor Thomas Burke, told VOA that investing in the health of vulnerable newborns is key to controlling infant mortality. People actually need to make budgetary commitments, and it means that... uh, Health systems have to prioritize babies. I have found in my two and a half decades of work on maternal health that there's sometimes a lot of talk around saving a mother's life, but at the end of the day, people aren't oftentimes willing to put finance behind saving a mother's life. The BCPAP devices are available at a cost of 400 US dollars in Kenya. The system is being used in at least 20 countries in Africa, as well as Belgium and the United States. Nearly one million infants die annually from respiratory problems in low- and middle-income countries, according to the WHO. Advocates say more of the life-saving machines are needed around the world. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.